All right, and here is our last video on RLRC filters. And in this video, we are going to look at arrow logic and filters. And um, what you're going to find is that arrow logic and filters is the same as it is for um, series circuits. And that's not really surprising because the um, inductor and the resistor or the capacitor and the resistor are in series with each other. All right, so we're going to actually run through some practice questions here and talk through it as we go. So if frequency to the circuit increased, what would happen to the output voltage? All right, so we're looking at this RL filter on the left here, and frequency is going up. Now we know that frequency is going to affect the ohmic value and therefore the voltage of our inductor, right? Because um, it's going to make the ohmic value of our inductor increase. And because the ohmic value of the inductor increases, um, we are going to see its voltage drop increase, right? Because remember way back in um, series parallel circuits when we're talking about fault, we said that um, when ohmic values um, go up, the voltage drop of the component will follow the ohmic value even if current changes and goes down, which is actually what's happening in this instance. So if the ohmic value of L1 is going up and the resistance stays the same, then the total circuit's ohmic value is going up, which means the total circuit's current is going down. So when you look at these voltage drops, we know that the voltage of the inductor is going to go up. That means, of course, that the voltage of the resistor is going to go down because they can't both go up. There's only so much voltage. Um, also, the resistor, because its resistance is not changing, is following total current, which has gone down. All right, so then, um, but it wants to know what's the voltage at the output. How do we know that? Well, we've looked at where do we measure to get our output voltage. And what we would do is we would put our black lead on our reference point, and we would put our red lead at the output. So if we're looking at it here, we're going to have our black lead here and our red lead up here. Well, the only thing in between those two points is R1, which means the output is actually the um, voltage drop of R1 in this case. So if the voltage of R1 is going down, that means that the voltage at the output is also going down. Now, this makes sense in another way as well. This is a low-pass filter, right? We have our hills, our rolling hills on the top. So this is a low-pass filter. Hills are lower than mountains. Now, with a low-pass filter, we know that it's going to pass low frequencies. So if we have the frequency go up, we know that the voltage at the output, we're expecting that to go down because um, it is going to get further and further into the non-usable voltage area, right? Uh, depending on what the frequency cutoff or is. So it makes sense in both ways. It makes sense using RL series logic. Um, it also makes sense just generally mathematically, but it, it makes sense when you think about um, a low-pass filter with a higher frequency put in. We would expect that output voltage to go down. All right, let's try it again um, on the next um, circuit here, which is a high-pass RL filter. And we're going to use exactly the same one. If frequency to the circuit increased, what would happen to the output voltage? So let's, let's start with the frequency side of this one. Okay, so this is a high-pass filter. It's going to pass high. So that means that the higher the frequency goes, the larger the output goes, right? So we are expecting our output voltage to go up. Now, if you look at it from your um, math 
aspect. If the frequency goes up, we know that the inductive reactance is going to go up. Now that is the component that is right here, which is right in between our reference point and our um, unknown, our red point. So that is what we are going to read the voltage of. So we know that if the um, inductive reactance of L1 goes up, then the voltage of L1 is going to go up because voltage is going to follow that increased ohmic value. And so it makes sense from that point, too, that um, the output voltage should go up. All right, um, now let's take a quick look at RC filters. So RC filters, the first one we have is a low-pass um, RC filter, and we know that because we have a low C. And this is our question. If frequency to the circuit decreased, what would happen to the output voltage? Well, so it's decreasing. So let's use that same kind of logic, right? If we have a filter that is supposed to be a low pass and the frequency is going down, we're expecting that output to go up, right? Because this is a low pass. The lower the frequency gets, the higher the voltage of the output. And it does indeed increase. Now, if we look at it in a math perspective, um, uh, the capacitive reactance formula is an inverse formula, so the smaller something is on the bottom, the larger the output. Remember, uh, one half is larger than one quarter. And so if we see an increased ohmic value on our capacitor, we are expecting the voltage drop to follow that increased ohmic value and therefore see an increased voltage on the capacitor. And of course, we are reading from our reference point to our unknown, which is our output, so we are reading across our capacitor. So as the voltage goes up on our capacitor, we see that increased voltage at the output. All right, now the next one, same scenario. If the frequency to the circuit decreased, what would happen to the output voltage? Well, this is a high pass filter. So that means as frequency goes up, the voltage at the output goes up. But as frequency goes down, the voltage at the output goes down. So we're expecting it to go down. And it also makes sense from the math perspective, right? So we know that as frequency goes down, the ohmic value of the capacitor gets larger. And if the ohmic value of the capacitor gets larger, then the total ohmic value for the circuit gets larger, which makes total current get smaller. And if total current is going down, then that means the voltage drop on our resistor, whose ohmic value is not changing, is going to follow total current and go down which means that that voltage that we're reading across R1 is going down. All right, and that is arrows in RL and RC filters.